Good morning, beautiful people. Um, I'm just having. <clears throat> oh God, I missed that again. <laughs> Good morning, beautiful people. Um, I'm just having my coffee here, and uh, with milk and a little bit of sugar. And I got quite a few interesting things through the mail in the last few days, and I thought I just I'm just gonna make like a small sort of haul of uh, what I bought online for the last um, actually two weeks but they got delivered in like uh, I just had my last parcel come through the door right now and I had a little peek inside and I got really really happy so I thought I'm just gonna make a little video of how um, what that looks like what I got uh, I made this coffee way too hot um, so yeah let's get into it I'm um, just put everything on my bed I need to change my sheets so that is fine if it gets a little bit because <clears throat> I don't know where this stuff have been before <laughs> I got them so let's start with these two beautiful books so in the last uh, Vogue I have uh, I to be honest like I knew they do book <clears throat> sorry I knew they do books and stuff but I never actually came across this ones I don't I'm not even sure of like when um this was actually released so let's see if we can see it says in uh, the end maybe maybe no uh 2018 so to be honest i i don't know i have never looked much into it and stuff so okay so i don't know what's in this one i haven't read it yet but i got them uh yesterday morning and i already read all of this it's about essential like shoes um well heels better said heels uh, so you have like um, there is quite a bit to read to be honest the only like um, what I don't like about it it's that I really hoped on like more picture of shoes so um, you know they kind of you have a picture like this and then you have like a description and then you have a description about this like what the model is wearing even shoes and clothing and a little bit more about like a background about the picture and stuff and there is quite a bit of um, writing but I still thought like I still would have wished here to have like pictures of shoes like more you know like different iconic ones which they are in here but I just thought they could have been a lot more like they talk about Manola Blanix here and then it says like go to page like 108 to see like a picture and then for example you come here and you see that like I wished those pictures would be here it would have been so much easier to read and i think it would be more beautiful like the famous mary jane um so i just wanted uh for i would have wished for uh, that more pictures of shoes i still really want to buy these shoes um they're still a little bit expensive for me so but um they actually come in three different heel sizes this is the lowest the kitten heel um and this is actually a 1987 naomi campbell picture when she was 17 years old she, this picture is so gorgeous can't believe they, believe they did so like look this was like it was taken just now you know the style of the clothing that is just awesome i mean she looks i couldn't even tell first uh, first that that is her until i actually read like 17 i mean she's just um you know it doesn't really look like the way kind of i know her but um i just didn't recognize her really at that age but uh, look it's about the kitten heel and you've got a little cat here that's so adorable so i uh, yeah the only thing is that i would have wanted to be more pictures um of shoes just here and there but other than that the book is actually really awesome i am really really happy with it it's something i will keep forever also i got this one about the little black dress i did not even like look actually through it so i'm just gonna go like this now um i i will read it 
I need a little black dress in my wardrobe. I now uh, do not have a go-to black dress, so well I have, but I feel like it's not the one. So I think I'm gonna make my mind. Um, I'm gonna make my mind up about the style and everything after actually reading this. And they have um, one about lingerie as well, which I really really want. They costed me between I think that was 13 and this was 15. So awesome box so good you guys if you get fashion box they're not just a desk coffee table decoration you will be surprised how much <sighs> fashion is more than just a trend and something that will make you look uh, that will tell your status is more than that just it's a whole world it's just read these books don't just buy them for decoration um again Another book is this one. I got this from from Costco with the Louis Vuitton catwalk. I mean, I read already that as well. Um, wow, I can't wait to get the other ones. Um, so this is in UK. We have we. <laughs> I'm, I'm not British, but uh, in re in the UK we have a British comedy. It's a TV series, and David Jason, the guy here, he plays Del Boy. So the book is called A Del of a Life. I mean, you can't really get um, this book, I guess, as much if you haven't watched the series because that character it's just so epic that um i mean you can tell if even this book is like he's just like dell just saying dell that means more than just his uh, his name is just insane is insanely good and one of the mottos of dell or derek trotter in the movie is get in get out don't look back that's my motto he says actually that um so, and there is a quote from Socrates, the unexamined life is not worth living. And that's a picture, I believe, of him when he was younger. So this book costed $9.79. Um, he's actually uh, finished writing this not very long time ago, because in summer 2020, he was still read, uh, writing the book. Um, I am about this way. So I got to page 47. Um, not too much, but I did that in like one sitting, like the the first night when I bought it. So I think I actually did quite a lot of reading this week between these three books. So I can't wait, but it, it's read really easily. It's absolutely an awesome, awesome book. If you, I guess even if you don't know who the guy is, you might fall in love with him and go watch the series, you know. And he's got other books as well. He's got a book that he's written about life memories and stuff like that in sorry in 2018 as well so this is a louis vuitton oh, louis louis um catwalk so we have the entire the complete fashion collections introduction by joe ellison collection text and designer by with 1350 illustrations and we have all the collections from the start of ready to wear and um that it was started by mark jacobs and we have that until 2014 where we have nicholas gaskier um that took over and he's been last catwalk was in 2018 so there is quite a bit to see so we have like again like a big introduction here um, the introduction is absolutely awesome. You have a little bit of a history of how the brand and the um, fashion house started in the beginning. In the beginning was a trunk. It all started with that. So that is really beautiful writing in here. Um, that's what I mean. It's just fashion, high fashion. It's just not something we'll look at it's it's such so, so much more than that so this is the first collection the louis vuitton first um like their first uh, clothing collection ready to wear that happened in it was called hidden luxury and it was in 98 i was six years old then um 
which was a fail by what most people thought so here we have like the name of uh, the collection um, and then here we have like a whole description on what was it all about there is a description of the first outfit that would get on the catwalk and then you had just a little bit just like everything about really the collection then you have a few things like um, um, you know opinions of other people there is quite a lot of what Vogue said at the moment about the collection obviously so it kind of just goes through so many things like this um, all about the collection so I might actually do um, I might actually oh I just opened at, <laughs> somehow at the one that I actually one of my favorite collections and uh, the Hitchcock collection which I absolutely love I think he's, he's done such an amazing job with this but I'm gonna go through it um, maybe and kind of just do a quick review well you can't do it quick because it's so big but I read it all I've been through all of it and it's an awesome book other experience that I want to share with you and that that is really really new for me it includes these two purchases so basically I got to find a um, A website sorry for the pause just couldn't find the words it happens to me so there is an app for it it's called vestiaire collective it looks like that and you go on here and you find pre-loved sometimes brand new there is a lot of people that sell brand new um, never worn um, but you're buying from private they do have an authentic Oh, <laughs> I can't say this word when I'm trying to say out loud. Authentic authentication um, that everything that is above a certain price, they actually the the seller will send it to Vestir Collective. They will inspect to make sure it's authentic, and then you're gonna have it sent to you from there with a little certificate. Um, so basically you find everywhere here and you've got a price um, So I was never into buying pre-loved too much. First of all um, I just didn't look into buying luxury stuff too much to be honest because I was so busy working all these years and couldn't really afford it that much to be really honest and uh, Sorry, I need two sips of coffee mm. So, um, so I wasn't too much into like purchasing too much of this stuff, not even brand new because I was always, well, if I can't afford the brand new, I mean, I don't know the whole pre-loved thing. It wasn't, I didn't know of it as an option at all because I did not look too much into it. I'd go outside in town, buy whatever I need and then not like think too much about like, you know, how can I find it cheaper and stuff. So... Um, and then I just got into it. I think it was uh, just watching YouTube and seeing someone starting to buy stuff like, you know, like buy pre-loved and vintage, um, you know. So obviously with when you buy pre-loved and vintage, I think for me anyways, I will only buy things that um, they are a high fashion uh, brand and there are things that not necessarily get very like for example i would i'd be more um into buying a pair of shoes or a handbag or any accessories or a scarf rather than buying like um a dress or a top i do not know that's why i think right now um i have never bought anything like that um so i'm just gonna share with you two purchases that i made from here i went for quite cheap uh, stuff just because i you know i needed to test the website so first it was this one it comes in a gucci dust bag and these were cheap so they did not they do not uh, vestir collective can't say 100 percent if they are 
real or fakes but when you get it you can tell obviously you can't send this back there is no returns on that um, although if you've been having any issues with a seller or something you can always contact the actual website to sort out your issue so first is this beautiful beautiful gucci belt um so you've got the logo here the item is not a fake and it's probably um i thought it's an okay belt and i thought okay i'll try it but then um so you can actually kind of take the hooks out and make it to your size but um it's I waited to be like a 7 out of 10 if 10 would be a new one but this is actually a 9 out of 10 this purchase god bless the soul of the person that sold this to me she said is not to her size anymore um so I was so lucky with this and I got the beautiful authentic boost bag as well to keep it in super happy this is not worn at all it doesn't have scratches there is minimal minimal normal like kind of wear stuff uh, you know like what would look like some uh, that it was worn you know but it doesn't have like any like let me just polish that a bit like that so it doesn't really have any like visible scratches i mean it does here but you know what i mean then is nothing major i mean you'd probably get them just from wearing it a few times out from like catching it with your purse or something so i don't really look at that as being a sign of something that would make me not want to wear the belt like look at the buckle you know what I mean? It's absolutely awesome. I'm so happy with it. And this one I just got today. And just look at this beautiful lady. The way she's packaged everything. So she's wrote me a thank you card. And it says, Dear Victoria, thank you for purchasing these Fendi shoes. I hope they meet your expectations. They are so well designed and crafted beautifully. I hope you will enjoy wearing them. Best, Vicky. That is so sweet that is so sweet to be honest um and it comes into this is not a original dust bag but it's fine because they were super cheap so you can't really complain uh so i'm just gonna show you one shoe because i just have one hand <laughs> um free so she's packed them like this and you've got like little thank you stuff this is just so important you guys i don't know i just appreciate them a lot um, you know this little I would never send like a, a, a something um, wrongly like packed or because I know how although this is not a shoe that paying a full price this is not a store but I just it's very important to make sure when you sell anything just to make make it a nice experience for the person that's gonna receive the package so thank you Vicky um this is just awesome you know it's a uh, I mean I think she's she's done more than she she could have um so this is the shoe that I purchased from her so this is a worn shoe it is not new uh but I mean this this shoe is so heavy I just loved, I love this, um, when you have them, like, this kind of work on shoes, I, I'm really, really into it, I think they make your foot really sexy, all the little straps, they're very, very flattering, and the way they're, like, just, like, pleated here, do you call it pleated? Um, so this is a Fendi shoe, we have the back as well, so these are authentic as well, I mean, before you even start to buy um any shoes just make sure you check if the shoe exists make sure you check all this stuff on the shoe always ask for a picture of the back of the sole and the inside if there isn't one a lot of people do not post them so if there isn't a picture of that just make sure you ask for it um so this part here it looks a bit more worn at the bottom but that it's fine that's actually not an issue it is not ruined in the front it's got this little platform like here which is really flattering and the shoe is actually so heavy so this is a good i mean is a heavy for for a heel you know it, they have to have some weight usually 
uh, cheap shoes and fakes will be very weightless and that is not a good sign a shoe that will hold you your your foot in place your leg feeling well and your back not hurting is a shoe and a heel that has a little bit of weight that is very important and that's a sign of the sh of the heel being authentic to the brand if that's like a high fashion brand so this is how the second one looks as well i am really really happy with them um let me just quickly tear it apart uh what i'm gonna do i think they need a little bit of care and i actually do take good 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 care of my shoes and i have some products i have like a a brush and i have some lotions for leather so i'm gonna go ahead and give them like a wash obviously um you know always for any means always wash the products that you buy if they are pre-loved um not that there is anything wrong with it but still you know you're sweating stuff like that you know someone has been sweating in them before so make sure you give them a little wash um so these are the shoes together i i already put one on um and i am just gonna polish them really quickly and i'm gonna show how they look on the foot but i am over the moon with them and i think i paid about like 70 pounds for them which uh, you can't go wrong with 70 for such shoes so I'm really really happy with them and with when it comes to brands obviously I can't afford too many shoes like this that would cost like at each pair let's say from 500 up which that's what they probably will you know a, a, a basic um, not basic but like a the, the cheapest brand um, high brand um, high fashion brand shoe would be would start for like around 400 and something so i mean you can get some trainers for cheaper but more or less let's say 400 so when you want a few more pairs you're not going to really be able to afford too many pairs so that's why i think buying pre-loved and it's as well it's really good for you know for you know i don't know for the shoes you save them you you give them another life you know you buy them and you can enjoy them a few more years maybe until they will tear apart if they will or maybe you decide to sell them maybe they'll be too worn to be able to sell but why not i think like these experiences in changing stuff if you get sick of if you don't want to or you buy yourself a new pair and you want to sell the old one i'm totally up for like selling and you know to other people and the way i bought them i'm like super super happy with them so oh my coffee's gone cold i've been talking for so long so anyways these are uh, the shoes So these are the shoes you guys, I just showed you a little bit of a um, closer thing, um, I think this, let me just take this aside so you can, because they kind of, uh, they don't stand out, so I think you're gonna see them better like this, so they're really really flattering, what I did was I used some um, I've used some leather dye to just kind of go a little bit here. It was a bit white there. I wasn't sure why. And mm, like around there a little bit too. I have used a leather lotion as well. Because it was... The leather was really still... It's really, really good. It's not very like... Well, it's not really scratched and stuff. It's got some... I mean, I can tell they're not brand new. But it's very insignificant and what i did was just kind of putting the lotion on let it soak in and then i buffed it really good with a um, shoe brush and then with microfiber as well 
and then I just put some uh, more lotion and I just left them dry and they look absolutely awesome now. So my experience so far with Vessier Collective, it's awesome. Um, but two things to know from there. Check the price if it is on anything that is more than about three 400 So make sure you check the price of the original thing on the official website. A lot of things are vintage, so if it's something older like that, maybe go on a few other sites, like even just checking it, um, if the shoe or anything like that is not sold anymore, maybe just check some prices on eBay as well or other sites to make sure you more or less are getting a correct price because some um, some um, sellers actually sell stuff um, overpriced. It doesn't matter what brand it is, there is a certain price and usually uh, worn shoes they go for very very less they don't really like usually purses will maintain the price or go up with shoes you actually the price drops a lot because it's something that is worn a lot and it's just how it is and we're lucky because we can get shoes nice shoes nice heels any type of shoe really um for a very very cheap price so even if you can't afford you will be able to afford if you'll be take if you'll buy pre-loved and they will be just as awesome i promise you but um with a bit of patience and obviously searching all the time so if you have about 100 150 200 you want to, you want to spend just take your time to find a shoe that will have a brilliant quality for that price so make sure you get the best that you can for your money um other than that um the app on this uh, the Vestir Collective app is really really um, good as well. There is little things in there that they could um, improve, but other than that, I am completely happy with them. Um, I got direct shipping, so there was no check on the um, you know authenticity of the items that I have bought just because the seller was in the UK and you have an option for direct shipping if you uh, want also with uh, you can pay for for the seller to send it to vestiaire so they can check it but to be honest when it's something that it costs under 100 or 150 you usually i mean you can ask for extra pictures and make your own judgment but if you don't want to do that there is still an option i think it's about eight pounds for postage that they can send it there check it for you and then they will send it uh, already your uh, whatever you bought you know so um, I would totally recommend if you never thought about buying pre-loved stuff uh, do so I do not know why I didn't thought before why that was, wasn't like really an option for me for some reason so anyways thank you um so much for uh, being with me in this video uh, one thing is you know remember your fashion books whatever you call them they are not just decoration do read them ladies and gentlemen because there is so much good information in here and it's just every single just just get into it read them get you know pay attention even an outfit can uh, teach you a lot this is high fashion this is not just to keep on your table for you know so they kind of peek uh, in a corner of your um, you know a photo a selfie or whatever just make sure you do read them please you will say thank you later um, so yeah thank you so much for watching this video i know it has been a little bit long but i have um, enjoyed speaking to you and kind of giving you as much information as um i could really uh, so yeah look into pre-loved it might be something for you actually the way is it has become for me i guess we'll see anyway every time i'll buy something i will post that either in a separate video i'll make a separate video for it or it will be in a uh, vlog 
um, yeah just uh, if you like this please consider to subscribe leave a comment I do do really really appreciate them and I just got um, actually monetized so I made my first seven dollars on YouTube which is really cool but um, literally every view on subscriptions subscription means a lot for me now thank you so much my lovelies and have a great productive day stay positive and do your reading.